Hi everyone, this is Cyrus for bestebookreaders.com. Today I'm showing you iPad Mini 2 versus Nook HD Plus. Two devices that you could say are probably not comparable. And the reason is, obviously this is a budget tablet now. It's a few years old. At the time we reviewed it, I said that among the devices that, had, that don't have a metal back, this one actually had the best one because it doesn't really feel cheap. It's actually, it feels like a premium tablet. And I thought at the time that they could have done much more with this tablet but since then we know that Barnes & Noble they've been a mess and let's just not go there I mean they're talking about bringing new tablets or not really who cares at this point what these guys do because I really don't see any future if they surprise us and come up with an iPad killer then I'm ready to eat my words but I don't think that's going to happen and if you are going to see an iPad killer it's going to come from other companies and not these guys as far as the iPad mini goes it could have had a better display. Still, it's a Retina display. The processor is awesome. It's a little bit underclocked in comparison to the iPad Air, and we showed it in another video. But I mean, you look at the numbers, it's still very fast and pretty much can handle any game you throw at it. I, I really just, what I do is play with fractals and things like that, and it works just fine. But you obviously can do a lot of other things with it. And you look at the scores, and it's pretty pretty awesome in that regard as far as the performance, speed, everything. So what I can tell is if you are picking a tablet and if you're making a case, as I've seen on some sites on, for instance, CNET, I've seen for their iPad 2 review, iPad mini 2 review, some people are saying that, oh, the Nook HD Plus is a great device for $149. It is a great device. It's not really comparable with the iPad Mini 2. You can't really say they're even they're not even in the same universe now, especially because the hardware-wise, much there's a big difference. Now, if you compare Nexus 7 FHD with the iPad Mini 2, then I understand. If you compare the Kindle Fire HD X 8.9, which we did with the iPad Mini 2, that's a fair comparison. I don't think Nexus. I don't think Nook HD Plus even belongs in the discussion as far as comparing these devices. So something to think about, It's it makes a good gift if you are going to give it to, for instance, your child and you're worried that you know, your tablet might get dropped on his head and you're just ready to part ways with $149, whatever, $179, whatever the price is now. And you just want to play games, simple games that are not, they don't require the fastest hardware. I think it should be able to handle it. But as far as the iPad mini goes, obviously fits from one hand, beautiful, premium. You can do actually business on this. And if you really want to look for an iPad mini competitor, you should or a rival that actually can replace an iPad mini too, you probably should look at Nexus 7 FHD or the new Nexus 10 that's going to come out. So those are the options that are much better or if you like the bigger version of iPad, that's fine too. So just a quick comparison actually, just want to show you the numbers for Geekbench, but really you can't really compare these two devices. One of them is very affordable, but it's not a powerhouse. The other one has faster processor, better display, and a lot going for it. Thanks again for watching. For more information, please go to bestebookreaders.com. Thanks again, guys.